Being said, let's fast forward to this BS that the National Football League did. Was it Wednesday? Yeah. NFL owners, you okay? Unanimously, key word, unanimously, and we'll I'll delve into that in a minute. Voted Wednesday in favor of a rule that removes the requirement of for players to be on the field for the national anthem. League announced players will be. Here's one thing. Uh, players will be permitted to stay in the locker room, but will be expected to stand and show respect to the flag of the anthem if they come to the sideline. Additionally, teams will be allowed to make their own anthem policies, while the league will be responsible for disciplining any players who protest. Commissioner Roger Goodell said that said there has been incredible engagement with hundreds of players on the anthem issue. Colin Kaepernick was the first player to protest during the anthem as a, as a response to the social inequality and uh, police brutality in the U.S. He was joined throughout the 2016 seasons by a handful of other players. However, Kaepernick failed to find a new team last season and protest outside of the league's wide demonstration in week three following criticism of by President Donald Trump Begun to begin to dwindle, with most players saying they were turning their efforts toward work in their communities. So, this the NFL, the 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 what's the word? I'm, the character of the NFL has been ish to me. For the simple fact, after the season ended, you said you wasn't going to change any rule. You're going to keep it the same, and lo and behold, Wednesday you're going to change the rule. But you're gonna try to make it sound good, like, oh, if you don't come out on, if you don't want to uh, stand for national anthem, you can stay in the locker room. We all know what the media are gonna do. First game out, they gonna have a camera in the locker room, see who's gonna be in the locker room. Right. They wouldn't. They probably wouldn't go into the locker room with the camera. All they gotta do is stay on the field and see who didn't come out. And it's put or even put the put the camera outside the locker room doors to see who's gonna come out of the locker room after the national anthem. This, you know, I heard this. I heard this. I can, I, I want to give credit where credit's due, but this statement was was just resounding to me. Who said it? Somebody said the NFL is scared to speak, but speaking because they're scared. <laughs> that's basically what this is. They scared to speak against anything that's going to trouble the fans to do all this, but then they 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 gonna speak because they're scared because they know what Donald Trump gonna do. If they don't do nothing about it, to me, this is all uncalled for because it everything dwindled down with nobody talking about the national anthem. Now you're gonna bring this up and gonna and you're gonna rile people up again, all right? With this situation, I was going. Uh, let me ask you this: What you think about this rule? Yeah, let me go back to this. Okay. You know how Roger Goodell said it was unanimously voted <laughs> Wednesday? It wasn't unanimous. Yeah, I heard that. You're right. <laughs> Some of the players was like, I didn't get a vote, you know. To the owners, the 32 owners, it was unanimous because, number one, it's, it was said that the San, uh, let me see, San Francisco 49 CEO, Jed York, revealed that he abstained to it. He didn't agree to it. Oakland it Raiders nice. owner Mark Oakland, Davis didn't right. agree to it. And I think the New York Jets chairman, Christopher Johnson, Willie, what's his name? Willie Johnson's younger brother, one of the owners, said that he would pay the fines of all of, of the players that kneel for the national anthem. So now you're lying to me again. You're talking about it's unanimous. It wasn't unanimous. So then nothing you we could believe we could believe with the NFL. The NFL is digging a hole for themselves to me. Yeah, they. You know what? They should one. This is one of two things they could have done. One, nothing. <laughs> Leave it alone because if you if you think back towards mm-hmm. the last season, it had pretty much died down anyway. Right. 
So this, it had pretty much ran its course. You know, I had said that before the season ended last mm-hmm. year anyway. It mm-hmm. had pretty much run its course. Secondly, if you think back to the mid-80s, 90s, or whatever, players didn't even come out for the uh, National Anthem. Yep. Nobody was on the field. Yep. No players was on the field during the National Anthem. Yep. He could have even went back to that. Mm-hmm. Could have went back to that. You know, so there's no – no nobody was out doing National Anthem. So what 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 am I reporting? You know, what – there's nobody, you know, to say, okay, well, he agree or he disagree or whatever. Because no one's out doing the National Anthem. You stay in your locker room doing the National Anthem or whatever. I heard some teams say that they weren't going to – uh they're going to shut down the concession stands doing yep, the National Yep, the San Francisco 49ers, as yeah, I said. You know, everybody yep. got their own little thing, and that's fine. But – the NFL could have, A, like I said, did nothing because I think it had ran its course. Mm-hmm. Or B, uh, uh, put, made, have every team stay in the locker room until mm-hmm. after the national anthem. Right. That, that would have resolved everything. But this right. crap here saying that they had a vote and it was unanimous and all this and, and speaking or whatever about it. And then even saying anything that's going to involve Donald Trump ignorant ass. <laughs> Yeah, I said it. Yep. You know, so I mean that just like you said, that adds fuel to the fire. That just that just that's uh you know stoking the flame or whatever. Like it, it, it ran its course, you right. know. Right. Capping it, you know, hey, for what what is worth, it was great when it happened. He did what he did, said what he said. Unfortunately, you know, yeah, he blackballed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they he they he's it don't look like he's gonna get a job in the league again, mm-hmm. you know. But that goes without saying, it's run, it's run its course. Now, you, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and say during the 2018 season, you won't see a player or two scattered in the league that still may kneel or whatever. Mm-hmm. For their mm-hmm. own personal reasons. Now, it ain't got nothing to do with Kaepernick now. It's their own personal reasons. Right. Or whatever. So that's, that's yeah, like you said, they, they scared. To say anything, the NFL was scared not to say anything. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Cause yeah. it's nothing like it was. And I hadn't thought nothing else about it. Right. You know, so hey. Dude, you know what? It it just come full full circle. It all started because Kaepernick was sitting on the bench, minding his own dammy, and a reporter came up to him asking why he's sitting on the bench. He gave him a legitimate reason for I'm, I'm protesting against the inequalities of color of uh, color people and p- police brutality. I have the, this is making I'm, we gonna keep it real on this show, right? We gonna keep it 100. That made these white people uncomfortable. Okay, mm-hmm. now they don't want this all all up in their face, so they're gonna blend. You know, they're gonna say, "Oh, he ain't gonna you know stand for the national anthem." Ooh, ooh, ooh. you gonna disrespect the flag? I'm gonna get to disrespect in a minute. So, Kaepernick went to the Navy SEAL, the, for, the former Navy SEAL, or I guess the Navy SEAL hit him up and asked him what he was doing. He told him, and the Navy SEAL said, you know, something like, you know, this is wrong how you're doing it. Can't you do it another way? So, he asked him, what, what way should I do it? He said, you should kneel during the national anthem to show respect. A Navy SEAL, former Navy SEAL told you that. So, that should give you to go, you know, let him do it. That ain't good enough for us. They ain't, no, I'll, I'll take that back. They ain't good enough for the white people. Right. So, <laughs> so it's like, no, you should stand. You know, you disrespecting the flag. Once again, I'm going to say this again, people. That's the whole purpose of a protest. He ain't doing it to make y'all feel good. He's doing it to make y'all uncomfortable and give uh, shine bring a light. You're right. Bring awareness on what's going on <clears throat> with the police brutality and the inequality. That's the end. We said this before. If I if I did a protest is show awareness. So if I protest and go across the expressway to stop traffic, that gets your attention. Now you know if you say you know could you nicely go inside the expressway and let me through, you ain't gonna pay me no more attention after that. Same right. thing with this situation, you know. And we talked about this before, and I brought this in episodes way back again. What's so disrespecting? What's so disrespectful about Neil? I told you this. Well, I was watching Lord of the Rings, and every time somebody confronted King, what did they do? They, they kneel. kneel for res- not disrespect. They kneel 
to respect the, the, the king. Same thing here. He, ain't nobody defecating on the flag. Nobody's burning the flag. All he's doing is kneeling. A peaceful protest. That ain't good enough for you white people. <laughs> so it's like, right. damned if you do, damned if you don't. So now we got Colin Kaepernick, who people, me, you, and people out there believe that he should be having the team because he's damn near better than half the starters that's in the league, and he's shown up better than half all the, the, the backups that's right. out here. Eric Reed say, used to be the safety for the 49ers, can't find a job. He won the best safeties in the league. He can't find a job, but he's not getting blackballed. Man, get the GTFOH. You know what I'm saying? Please, don't, don't, don't try me. And we, back to disrespect. You're talking about we disrespecting the flag. Us as black people had to go through, you know, had to stop riding buses to stop segregations. We had to have affirmative action just to even have a, 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 a chance yeah. to get a job just like the average person. But we ain't being disrespected. So talking about, okay, let's leave it, keep, let's keep it real, let's keep it a thousand, damn it. You talking about disrespect? Yeah, you know what, this is what always kills me when they tell us, uh, why don't you go back <laughs> where you came from? That's the best y'all can do. Y'all, y'all don't have a, a, a intelligent conversation, a, a intelligent rebuttal, but just to tell us to go back where we came from. Damn, Larry, I think me and you was born here, right in the U.S. Wow, born so here. where we? Go? I mean, we are I'm we back where we started. Back, this is all I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they always fall back to that. I'm t- oh, man. Man. But, but they, listen, they look and sound like idiots when they say that too, because you know, technically, you know, you know, white America is European America. Boom, and that's where I was going to. You telling us to go back where we came from? Why don't y'all go back to where y'all come from? Which is what Europe, Europe, you no know, Spain with Christopher Columbus and all that stuff. Y'all wasn't the original people here. Who was the original people here? The Native Americans. Y'all yeah. talking about disrespect? Y'all showing some some damn disrespect when you got a team in the NFL that's named the Redskins, which is in the in the I got it right here in the Webster Dictionary. Redskins is a disparaging and offensive name of a Native American. And you, we talking about disrespecting the American flag. Y'all disrespecting a original American that was here by calling them, calling a team of Redskins and putting it up in their face for 70 years. That's why me and you both called the Red, Washington Redskins the Washington professional football team. Then I had some Washington professional football team fans come to me saying, well, you wasn't doing all this. The team been here for 70 years. Where was you when all that jumped off? Okay. It, good when enough. You know, well, right. When you know better, you do better. Bam. That's all I'm saying. Now that I know, I'm, res- I'm going to respect the Native Americans and not call them the Washington Redskins. What you going to do? All right. You know what I'm saying? Just like you said, now I got now I've been informed, it'd be stupid of me to keep on doing saying calling them a t- calling them a name that I know now is offensive. Is offensive. But y'all don't want to keep on disrespecting them by calling them that because that's we oh, we've been fans of the team. You can be fans of a lot of stuff, don't mean you make it right. But back to disrespect. You saying we disrespecting the flag, or y'all disrespecting the team. All right. You tell me. <sighs> Bruh. <laughs> not, not I, am tired. I am so tired of talking about this because everything been this been flipped over and, and changed. We David's not protesting the national anthem. He's not protesting the 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 American flag. He protesting something and y'all changed it around because you because y'all don't want it in your face. Yeah. And being embarrassed. Donald Trump, like you said, his whack ass changed everything. He could take, right. you know, well, everybody needs to proudly stand for the national anthem. You keep on saying, I heard this, I can't remember, it was Fox Sports and uh, Fox News. And I, don't, I got a, a whole nother issue with Fox News with they racial insensitive ass. Uh, he go on there talking about, you know, oh, uh, players should, should proudly stand for the national anthem. He kept on saying proudly, man, dude. I'm a, if you ask me to stand, I'm standing. Don't, don't worry about how I'm standing. I'm standing. <sighs> now, let me ask you this. I think I, think I did a good job not cursing, not bringing up yeah, no yeah, F-bomb. Yeah. So I pat myself. Pat myself. Well. 
before we move on and get off the subject, what now that this been out, what do you think the players should do? I think they should change the protest to another situation. That let this go. I can't I can't let y'all have think y'all won. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you what you think. I got an idea. I I don't know. I think right now. I think right now that the ownership, each team is gonna do their pretty much do their own thing. Okay. You know, that may be the that may be the route to go now. You know, everybody talking about they got a vote, which you know everybody didn't get a vote. But as a team, okay, we're gonna let the players decide how they wanna handle, you know, how they wanna handle this going forward and mm-hmm. you know, move that way accordingly. You know, so right. you know, it may be a team by team thing now. You know? I got you. I got you. Yeah, so this is what I'm thinking. And I know it's to the extreme, but you, they're going to have to do this in a couple of years anyway. You want me to stand for the national anthem. If I don't stand, you want me to wait in the locker room. All this is because the NFL is worrying about their bottom line, right? Mm. So let's hit them in, in their pockets. It don't even have to be all the team, just a couple of teams. You know, come to the conclusion, it could be the San Francisco 49ers, who else? The Oakland Raiders or the New York Jets. Mm-hmm. Just don't even play the game. Mm-hmm. Don't even suit up. If it, if I'm a player of one of them other teams <coughs> that want to play, I'll get, go to the coach, go to the owner, give them the check. You know what? Here, you can have this money back. I'm going home. Since I can't do it my way, or oh, call them up saying, you know what? I'm not coming to the stadium. You can have this game check. Do whatever you want. I'm not coming. Hit them in their pockets. That, yeah, would, that would change well, it. You, you're using a perfect world scenario. I know, man. Right but see, now. this would, you know, they would get their attention. That showed that oh, they, yeah. Yeah, that, that would show them that they unify. That's, and that's and any and everybody right there. How do you, how do you do that? How do you hit somebody, hurt somebody? Yeah, you hit them in their pocket like that, you know? Right. And the reason why I say that, do this now to show the owners and in the, in, the, in the NFL that you're serious because in a couple of years, the CBA will be back up again. And then y'all could get you, – you showing them that you ain't worried about the money. And then if we go on strike, y'all go, they'll be more afraid that y'all go on strike because you proved that, damn, they, they, they canceled. They shut down a couple of these games because of protests. We might have to sit down and bargain with them with this next CBA. That's all. I know I'm, I'm I know I'm, yeah, that's yeah. a pie in the sky shit, but that yeah, if they do that, man. You, you still gonna have some players like yeah, look, look dog. I respect what Tom Tennis <laughs> thing. I know, I know. Man, I need my money. I, I, <laughs> if I got to go out there and play all eleven positions, I gotta do uh, what I gotta do. Man. I know, man. That would be beautiful, though. That I, you know, especially the top players, the, the, the marquee players. Excuse me, the marquee players, like Teddy. You know, Teddy checks up. I'm not coming. You ain't respecting me. I ain't gonna respect you. <sighs> I know, fine Scott, right? Yeah, I, I would like to know what happened. What would happen? The NFL players gotta do something. 